This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 18 Collisions, Part 10. I see code. What does it do? Are these the co coins from last level? Yep, and there they go. We turned on the debugger, right? So if you're not seeing that square around them, you need to go back and do the last level. Uh, watch my tutorial if you're stuck on it. Alright, so set collide. Sprites interact based on the size and shape of the collider, not the image, not the images that are assigned to them. You can only see the collider when in debug mode. You can change the shape of the collide using sprite set collide. Oh, awesome. Block, which lets you pick between the rectangle or a circle. By default, all colliders are rectangles. Got it. Do this. Find the sprite set collide block for the gold coin and change it from rectangle to circle. Okay, so that should be down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to put this. Oh, no, it's already right here. Great. And change it to a circle. Add a new sprite.set collider block to the silver coin and choose circle. Silver coin, sprite collider. I'm going to put it right there and choose circle. Okay, run the code and see how they bounce, how the sprites bounce. Whoa, what did I do? Oh, there's nothing called sprite. There's only, ah, silver coin, right? So always make sure you put sprite there because you never put sprite because we create variables for our sprites. Oh, ho, ho. yes, exactly what we would want. Cool. Well, this is going to have a lot of potential then. Awesome. Let's keep well here. That's what we did, right? So I changed this to circle, added that, and changed it to circle. I could definitely have put it down here too. Great. Let's keep going.